This is sometimes Joey Adventures. This station is. I can subscribe. Good morning, Gary. What's really poppin' friends, my name is Joey, sometimes I play games, and sometimes I venture outside of my parents' house and interact with the public. On this day, I head to New York for Pokemon Go Fest. 7 a.m., waking up in the morning, gotta be fresh, gotta go downstairs. Y'all remember the dollar store Timbaland who was behind Arc Music Factory? Fast lane, switching lanes. Oh, that's the I-95 sign they misspelled, Central, and have since corrected it. Speaking of Arc Music Factory, this song right here is a mean bop. Your lips, your lips, so soft, so soft. Hey look, we're almost in New Jersey! <laughs> now see right here, I'm kind of mad at myself for becoming a streamer, because I have to record everything. Like I'm filming in a parking garage. I right, stepped on the train, I felt a real connection to this particular seat, and headed for New York. <laughs> Glorious Penn Station. There's nothing like taking that first whiff of locomotive emissions, human sweat, and more human sweat. I open Go and I'm greeted by that cyborg chick guy. Just a disclaimer, I'm really more into the mainline games than Go, so if I upset you for not getting something correct, I eagerly await your comment of displeasure. I had to stop and get a New York bagel, and the bagel guy, Johan, wait, what, what? The bagel guy, Johan, hooked me up. Uh, there's two of them. Go is basically in its Adderall zone and flooding me with all sorts of stops and tasks and pretty things. By the way, I forgot you can't see me on camera. Shout out again to our pal Rue for drawing this yellow legacy tribute. I printed it on my shirt and it caught a lot of people's attention. Okay, time to go above ground. Half of your go day is spent essentially freestyling around the city, attempting to catch them all, spinning stops, and taking part in raids. It wasn't until I approached the Statue of Liberty that I encountered my first shiny of the day, a ducklet. I almost walked up a down escalator earlier, by the way. Here's a cute dog. Oh wait, we didn't have him sign a waiver. I hit up the Nintendo store. Lots of players are in there. Got myself a Starmie plushie. Couldn't find any other of my all-time favorite mons in this store. Walked around some more, then went to this charming Japanese-American market. Because I really wanted that, like, strawberry milk stuff. I noticed a small shelf of Pokemon merchandise, and I got a watch roll, because watch will not. Heh. <laughs> At this point of the day, I'm making my way towards the 34th Street Ferry, found a shiny... Met some people on the way, I'll shout everybody out at the end, and I needed to take an extended sit-down at this playground. It was hot this day, and I now know what people are talking about when they say physical activity hits different when you're 30. Two. After tinkling in the public restroom, I made my way to the ferry, which I'm ecstatic I found out about that day. It was giving SS Aqua vibes, the vessel was named Abraham Lincoln, which it really probably should have been called Abraham Lincoln, and I felt like I was on a real Pokemon adventure. We've arrived on Randall's Island. The in-game events didn't trigger until 3 p.m., but that's fine because I needed to lay under a tree. You know how people say drink plenty of water? Okay, well, I probably should have drank plenty more water. Up, oh, it's 3 p.m. Let the sun burning of next begin. First thing I did was get in a raid, and I learned that day that this is a Pokemon. I'll eventually post my full Pokemon journey story, but long story short, I skipped the entire DS era. There's a Pokemon named Guzzlord. I went to high school with a girl by that name. You had this nifty little map to follow, and all your tasks took place somewhere that day on the island. You only had four hours to do so, so you didn't really have any time to wipe the sweat out of your eyes. Rugged Quarry, Poolside Cabana, the pool didn't have any water in it, Ghostly Woods, which had these Halloween store spider webs, and Brilliant Sky, which was basically an open invitation for the sun to make you feel miserable. I did another raid, and this is a Pokemon too? And it's shiny? Well, well, all right. Well, after leaving the store, nearly collapsing, I purchased some bottles of water and guzzlorded them down. And then, yeah, the rest of the day, I went on with all the tasks that I had to do in the game. Hatch eggs, catch this, do this here, uh, interact with human beings, got the marshmallow shadow guy, continued to develop an awkward burn tan, talked with a bunch of strangers whom I accepted candy from none of them, all while trying to remember to record enough footage to make this video interesting, and I hope it has been. If it hasn't, I don't know what you want from me, a dolphin going through a drive through <laughs> 
all in all, it was a really fun day. I am so happy that I went. I had never been to any type of Pokemon related event. For one day, I felt my inner kid come to life and not complain about the adult that is here today. I got to see so many people of all ages and backgrounds come out to achieve one common goal, to be the very best like no one ever was. I also developed a deeper, stronger appreciation for water. Water is your best friend. It's super effective against rock, ground, and fire, but it's also super effective against the symptoms of heat exhaustion. Now, I only went for the day. I went back home later that evening. I've had enough in New York for quite some time. And I'm sure the city feels the same way about me. Oh, by the way, this pizza I had after the island smacked. She's the kind of girl. Thank you all for watching this. Special Who thank you to who you see here on screen. Johan, Summer, Ryan, Libby, Yvonne, Bassam, Matt, Logan, Megan, Cody, Shelby, Andrew, Anthony, Helen, Sean, Derek. Nice. Bars. They were all kind enough to subscribe to me that day, and uh, they had the misfortune of seeing my real-life human face. So, thank you guys for watching and supporting. I wanna be your lips, your lips, so soft, so soft, and it shines, and it shines like the stars from above. Your eyes, your eyes, so sparkling like diamonds. You, 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 got me hooked on you.